We're in the margin for some conference tournaments get going this week for others. Just one last week of regular season play. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you on our daily bubble watch here on CBS Sports.com on here on Monday, a whole weekend to review and we'll go through it quickly and no bubble team helped itself more these past two days than Oklahoma State took care of number one Kansas at home and the Cowboys for the first time in 21 years earned a victory against the top ranked team, but more importantly for the immediate they gave themselves a fourth win against a team with an RPI in the top 15, including not just Kansas, but a win at Kansas State. Meanwhile, Notre Dame, Louisville and Marquette also helping themselves this weekend, all with road victories. The Golden Eagles, a third straight overtime win, and frankly, all three games that they had to have. The Fighting Irish with the win at 11th ranked Georgetown, a second consecutive victory against an RPI top 15 team. Well, thanks to Edgar Sosa's shot, the Cardinals with another big conference road win and now a season sweep against you. The Huskies need to finish this week strong at Notre Dame Wednesday at South Florida on Saturday. Number two strength to schedule that will help those big victories they have that will help. But the Huskies are seven and nine in the Big East winning in South Bend. Maybe that's a must winning in Tampa. That's a definite must. How about the ACC? And it has a lot more question marks than it does teams that have guaranteed anything. Duke's a given. Maryland's going to be in and by the way, still has a chance to win the ACC for the first time since 02. Wake Forest probably safe despite three consecutive losses, including this weekend at home to North Carolina on CBS. But the rest is up in the air. And despite Virginia Tech's great double overtime game against Maryland, they couldn't beat the Terps in Blacksburg. So that's three straight losses like the Hokies, Clemson, Florida State. They're both eight and six in the ACC as well. But the Tigers win in Tallahassee gives them an advantage over Florida State because they swept the two games with the Knowles this season. Here could be Virginia Tech's big issue. Computer numbers not nearly as good as either of these two teams or Georgia Tech's for that matter. Another bubble squad. Hokies strength the schedule in the 130s. RPI in the 50s. Seth Greenberg, he has a good basketball team, but he cannot lose Wednesday at home against North Carolina State. Meanwhile, Clemson has won four or five, has four victories against top 50 teams and a chance for two more with Georgia Tech and a trip to Wake Forest. Florida State's home loss to Clemson hurts because of that season sweep, but an opportunity like Clemson to get a quality win this week with Wake Forest coming to town. How about four bubble teams with bad losses this weekend? Florida's at Georgia, but again, opportunity this week is the key word. Gators will look very good with either a win against Vanderbilt or somehow if they can pull out of a victory at Kentucky. Illinois. It has issues 14 first half points in its home loss to Minnesota only lost by two, but a bad first half three losses in the last four game. But again, opportunities chance for wins at Ohio State Tuesday or home against Wisconsin Saturday for the season sweep of the Badgers 810 hopefuls Rhode Island and Charlotte. They both could be in trouble both this weekend losses the teams outside the RPI top 110 and both have now lost four of five ball games. They play each other Wednesday. Maybe that's a semi elimination game. We'll have to wait and see. Now, if we didn't hit on your team, check out the bubble watch page here on CBSSports.com. Look back daily to see what our team deems your squad's pros, its cons, and its outlook. And also be sure to catch Jerry Palm's latest edition of Projecting the Field right here on CBSSports.com. You can also find previews of certain bubble teams' games this week, including Connecticut at Notre Dame Wednesday and Vanderbilt at Florida on Tuesday. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.